23 on board, Chef. So what? Why are you cooking them now? No, no. Why? I don't know, Chef. It doesn't make sense. They're gone. They're overcooked. Yes, yeah, Chef. I can't do it anymore with you. You need a system. There's no system. I can't keep on telling you every fucking time. Now, listen to me. Tonight, prom night in Hell's Kitchen, it is a once-in-a-lifetime experience, yeah? Chef. I want you running like a machine. Perfect coordination and phenomenal teamwork. What are we tonight? Machine! Let's go, yeah? James, let's go. Open Hell's Kitchen. Yes, yeah, Chef. Chef Ramsay has gone to great lengths to make sure the Beverly Hills High School prom is a night to remember. Wow, I love it, Hardy. All right, here you go, guys. Oh, looks the special menu will feature the red team's crab cakes and vegetarian pot stickers, as well as the blue team's halibut. You are crab cake and halibut. For tonight's service, Chef Ramsay has asked Vinny and Nona to assist him in plating the food for their teams. So one, here we go, guys. Yeah, one season salad, two crab cakes, two pot sticks, two tuna. Yes, yes chef. chef. Let's do this shit, guys. While the men have just begun cooking their first appetizers, over in the red kitchen... Crab cakes are walking. Emily, on the fish station, is already bringing up her first crab cakes. Crab cakes right here. Don't burn your arm. Thank you. Crab cake, chef. Crab cake? Ay, ay, ay. Excuse me. All of you, come here. This is what you've just served me. Just look at that, look. They're not even crispy, touch that on top. They're soggy, they're soggy! It's like they've eaten it and sent it back. The only thing Emily had to make was crab cakes. My six-year-old could do this. Give them back, I'll get you new ones. Oh, my God! Yes, Chef. Jillian, free fucking salad fresh. OK, Chef. Emily sucks. How long do you need? How long on the crab cake? How long? I'm gonna resear these. How long? How long? One minute. For sure? Yes. Put it in the oven now. Now, now, now. Gotta move faster, Em. If we lose tonight because a crab cake has to be remade, like, it's bullshit. Crab cake's coming? Oh. Coming right now at the crab cake, chef. Service, please. With some guidance from Gail, Emily's crab cakes are now making their way to the dining room. Mm, let's go. Meanwhile, in the blue kitchen... Boris, how many crab cakes you got in the pan? Ten all together, chef. Boris is getting a little ahead of himself. There's only two away, and you've just cooked me ten. Boris! Yes, chef. I fired two, I've got ten. Is this a sign of things to come? Boris just started firing like a gangbang of crab cakes. And it's like, dude, learn to count. Look at me! Yes, chef. We're doing one table at a time. It's not a race. Common sense, gentlemen. Understood. Fresh crab cakes. Let's go. While Boris is now cooking his crab cakes to order, in the red kitchen, Melissa has moved on to entrees. What in the fuck? Unfortunately, her team is not even close to completing the appetizers. Melissa? Yes, Chef. What is that? All of you come here. Melissa put in a huge pile of fillets in the oven. Apps weren't even done yet. I don't even know what to do in this situation. We sent three tables of appetizers, and you're sticking all the beef in the oven. Why the hell would you do that? I wouldn't even do that. Do you want to go home? Why don't you make my life easier and just fuck off home? You can't be normal. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, my god. 7, 8, 19, 11. Stupid. 12, 30, 40, 50, 60. Oh, hell no. 17, 18, 19, 20, 20. What the hell are you doing, ladies? There's 23 on board, Chef. So what? Why are you cooking them now? No, no. Why? I don't know, Chef. It doesn't make sense. They're gone. They're overcooked. Yes, yeah, Chef. I can't do it anymore with you. You need a system. There's no system. I can't keep on telling you every fucking service. Chef, sometimes I just go stupid, but I'm better than this. I just have to show Chef Ramsay I have what it takes. Madness. Keep it moving. Focus, guys. Boris, it's cold in the fucking middle. Cold in the fucking middle. Work like a machine, not like individuals. Yeah, Chef. Come on, guys, let's go. Crab cakes were coming out cold. Boris was a machine that was malfunctioning. Regroup, regroup, rethink, regroup. Let's go. We got to fight back and get, and get past this. Come on, guys, let's go hard. Garnish is ready. I got more right here. Thank you. Service, please. 
The blue team has recovered, and a steady flow of appetizers are now leaving the kitchen. Is it good? Really good. Meanwhile, the red team is now relying on the highly criticized Sabrina to keep them on track with their starters. One pot sticker, how long? Uh, about 15 seconds. I'm on abs tonight, and I'm going to give it everything that I have because I know if the red team loses, they're going to try to get rid of me. Pot sticker. Right here, chef. Come on, Sabrina. That's good. That's good. Think hot. Be careful. Thank you. Sabrina, that's nicely cooked. Yes! I'm on top of the world. I can't stop now. Come on, don't lose it. We got this. Good job, Sabrina. Thanks to Sabrina, appetizers are flying out of the red kitchen. Yeah, it's so thing? good. All right, so that's the last one. Yeah. So we start on the entree. In the blue kitchen, the men are now ready to move on to entrees. I'm going to start cutting meat. I'm ready. And are waiting for Boris's halibut. I need the halibut. Give me a minute, please. Give me a minute, please. You got to finish that halibut for me. Give me a minute on the halibut. It's under. I'm dying on that fucking halibut, bro. Don't kill us right now on this boris. Come on. It's a seven top, bro. I, I got to have it. Please let him get this fucking halibut. Please, all we need is a fucking halibut. Give us a time. How long? Boris, chef is asking for a time. It's working. Let's go. I'm going to start cutting meat. One minute. One minute on the halibut. I'm cutting meat. Go. I told you one minute. One halibut. Hold up a whole table. You can't fuck us like that. Turn the fan on high, cook that shit, and get it out. Coming up, chef. Coming up to the pass. Coming up, chef. I'm going to start cutting meat. I'm ready to go. Coming up to the pass. Vinny, my meat's ready. Finally. Blaze up. Service. Boris's halibut and Russell's meat have made it out to the dining room and are now being enjoyed by teenagers on the blue side. But unfortunately, before the prom committee on the red side can enjoy their entrees, how much longer the food's ready? Chef Ramsey Stop. has a mystery to solve. What is that? What? 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 What is that? Huh? It's like Barbie's vomit. It's like purple snot. They did kind of look like baby poop. Fuck off. Nobody wants to eat purple piles of baby poop on a plate. Gail! Get a grip! Damn it! Clear the fucking plates off the pass and get it going. I did great on the app station, but now on entrees, these bitches can't do anything. Halibut, it's right here. I can't do it by myself. The halibut, it's right there. Fuck me. Oh, by the way, Emily, look, that's raw. Here's what happens now. You just all melt down. You'll give up. She'll tiptoe around it. She'll put her head up her ass, and you'll just stand there. No fight back. Emily is, like, sinking over there on fish. She's just going down. This is just not her game. Come on, guys. Put your heads up. Let's go. While Emily starts over on the halibut, in the blue kitchen, Russell, on the meat station, is determined to keep entrees moving. Hey, move your ass, guys. Let's go. Fettuccine halibut, five fillets. Four well done, one regular. Russell, thank God someone's got some brains. Yes, chef. Let's go. Oh, I'm sick of losing. I'm just going to start screaming at people. I'm going to yell what the fuck I want. I'm not going to take it anymore. How long on garnish for five fillets? Uh, two minutes. Two minutes. How long on garnish for a halibut? Uh, less than a minute. How long on a fettuccine? Uh, one minute. Let's go. Finally, a voice in there, no? Hey, can we go to the window? Yes, sir. I am ready on the halibut, going into the window. Vinny, mid-rare, two well done on that plate. Let's go, plate it. Do it nice and do it twice. We don't want to do this all night. I don't know, absolutely not. Blaze up. Russell. Yes, chef. That steak's cooked perfectly. Rare as fuck, dude. Yeah. This is still too mid-rare. Melissa. Yes, chef. Why are you slicing it and sticking it back in the oven? I cut into it and it was too rare, chef. Melissa. Yes, Chef. If the steaks aren't cooked, don't slice them. Rule number one. This is Slice a... Sorry, Chef. No, no. Get a fucking grip. When Chef Ramsay is yelling, just shut the fuck up. Sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize. Seriously, just shut up. Come here, you. I said, come here! Talk to them then. You, you tell no, them. No, no I'm you sorry. stand. You tell the brigade. Tell them all then. I'm sorry. Explain why we don't slice meat raw. And if the first one's not cooked properly, we stop there. And we put them back in the oven. Explain to your team. There you go. Insert foot in mouth. 
I know now I will never make that mistake again. Come on, guys, don't lose it. Fight back, fight back. Despite some setbacks, the red team, led by Sabrina. Come on, we can do this. Fight back. And Jillian. Chicken coming. My hand, baby. Has rebounded. Come on, guys. Service, please. Elements right here. Service. And now both teams have served all of their entrees. Turn all the flames off? Yeah. Stoves off, yes. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. And the students from Beverly Hills High are enjoying their meals. It's so good. No, this is amazing. It's really good, right? It's really good. Um, could I have your attention, please? It is my honor to announce the prom king and queen, Cody and Gabriella. It was great to see the kids out there having a good time. It was a nice change of pace to see the kids eat and then get up and boogie around. It was fun. While the first ever Hell's Kitchen High School prom has ended on a positive note, it doesn't deter Chef Ramsay from doing what he does after every dinner service. Tonight, there will be a losing team. Let me explain exactly what I saw. On the appetizers, red team, consistent, I mean, really good. Men, Boris, you had huge problems with the crab cakes. So, ladies, you had the edge on the appetizers, clearly. And then the ladies deflated. So the winning team tonight is the men. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, Chef. And there was one chef out of the men's team that finally showed me great leadership qualities. Well done, Russell. Thank you, Chef. Your best service yet. In fact, the best service in the blue team yet. Thank you.